Milky Way multi wavelength lab, but it's based multi wavelength is the spectrum and we have radio and in, if you remember from physics, you have radio, you have microwaves, you have uh, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma rays. So seven different seven, you know, categories of light, but within those they can bro be broken down. For example, infrared can be broken down in near infrared and far infrared, and each one of them shows a slightly different image. Um, so the first question is, what does the Milky Way look like? So when we look at the Milky Way, um, you can see that, uh, you know, you that there is a there are you know, parts where it is really bright and then other parts that it's not so bright. And so the brighter parts is an indication that you're looking at the center. Um, there's a couple things I need to explain to you whenever we are doing, whenever we um, we get to these, looking at these images. So this is the visible. We're going to start the visible. Um, this is actually 360 degree picture. So in other words, this was an image taken of the Milky Way that's three and all of these are 360 degree images. Uh, the center of the galaxy is going to be placed at zero degrees. And then as you see here, you know, you got 180 over here and 180 over here. So this is looking this is looking directly behind you and this is looking directly behind you going the other way. So if we look to the left, if we were to look to the left of us, we'd start to see it looking in this looking this way. And if we were to look to the right, it would look like this. And so as you can see here, it looks very disc like and of the with a kind of a bulge in the middle. So just the visible you can kind of see what it looks like. So what you would be doing for the lab is explain what you see. And some of the things that you'd want to mention is that you can see the bulge and that you can see that it's very flat and disc like. Um, we can't necessarily see any spiral arms uh, using the visible, but you can see this, some of the evidence of the spiral arms when you look at other wavelengths. Um, this is the radio wave. And again, what do you see now uh, uh, these again the the intensities of light are based on the color uh, the color gives intensity so these are colors that you, these are wavelengths that you cannot see but they have been given wavelengths the computer has given them wavelengths so that, uh, uh, has been given them visibility so that you and colors that you can see in order to interpret it better. And I want you to, I want to point a couple things out. I want you to look at this little bulge right here, this little glob right here and this little glob right here. So think about what is that? So what would those go, bol, uh, those little globs look like? And then there's another little glob right here and another little glob right here. Uh, and what was concluded is that those are evidence of spiral arms. So this uh, by looking looking at the visible, you can't see that really well, but whenever you start looking at the other wavelengths, you can start to see evidence of spiral arms. And because astronomers have seen other galaxies, they knew spiral arms existed, and that kind of helps them to help them determine, oh, are we have a we live in a spiral galaxy. Here's atomic hydrogen, a different wavelength and a different picture of the of uh, of the galaxy. And you would compare what does this look like to the visible? Um, the radio continuum. OK, again, the, I gave the frequency up here. Uh, again, you can see a little globule right here and a little globule right here uh, indicating a spiral arm and then a very flat disk in the middle. Uh, atomic hydrogen. And then you start to see a little bit more uh, gases that are kind of forming out here. And you can see the gas coming up, coming up here and here, uh, coming off of atomic hydrogen. And hydrogen gives off its own little wavelength of light. And that's what we're picking up here. Here we got infrared. Uh, micron is a micrometer, uh, which is 10 to the negative six. So, uh, so micron is uh, just a fancy way of saying micrometer. And again, what do you see? See a little glob here, a little glob here. It's pretty flat. Uh, mid infrared. What do you see? How does it compare to visible? OK, another view of infrared. Here's X-ray. Uh, X-ray is pretty fascinating. Uh, you've got a, looks you can see all of the gas that's forming here uh, coming out 
from the galaxy. So now you can see a different image of of the Milky Way that you wouldn't be able to see before from the visible. And then finally, gamma ray. Uh, and the gamma ray is going to be the highest energy. So which stars are giving off the most energy? And you can see there's a lot of energy coming right here from the center. And then there's some energy coming over here and over here and so on and so forth. So uh, all of these paint a picture and uh, the visible is right here. And then how do all of these compare to the visible spectrum? And that's what you're basically going to do the lab on and answer the questions on uh, Microsoft Forms.